Being a film fan has always been something that's been ingrained within me. I use movies a lot, not just for recreation and entertainment, but to de-stress, to change the mood, to kind of make me feel something that I'm not feeling at that moment. For escapism, to go somewhere wonderful, to see into someone else's life, to experience something. And I watch a lot of movies. And every now and then, you start to hit a wall. You get to a point where you're like, I just don't know if I can watch any more. And I have a, a YouTube channel, so I have a kind of driving force to make sure that I always get content. And I could easily cut back if I wanted to, but I, I like putting out what I put out. And I enjoy doing the movie reviews and talking about the movies. But just every now and again, you get to a point where enough is enough. What do you do? What do you do when you hit that point? Recently, I've started to get there um, and it's kind of compounded by outside forces. I stopped furlough. I went back to work. It's been very stressful. It's weighing a lot on me. When I go to sit down and watch something, I've got things rattling about in my brain. It's hard to switch off and unwind and concentrate and give a movie the attention it deserves and that's very problematic for me and usually in these situations I retreat to comfortable movies, movies that I know fairly well, movies that I'm not planning on talking about, movies that are just for me or TV shows that I can just sit down, switch off, not think or worry about. And I find that's probably the most refreshing uh, element for me to try and get through that sticky patch that I'm feeling. At the moment, I'm watching some new movies. Nowhere near the amount that I was watching. I'm watching a lot of comfort watches. Movies that I know that I might have zero interest in talking about. Um, movies that I like, that I know fairly well or TV shows that I know fairly well. You know, a lot of the times I've been going back to silly things. Rick and Morty has been a kind of lifesaver. I'll put it on, it could play for an hour, two hours. I may watch it, I may not watch it. It may just be around in the background, but it's something that I know inside out, it's something I don't need to think about, and it's something that may just capture my attention and something that I really enjoy. I, I like to go to movies that are kind of trashy, kind of fun movies that I've watched several times. Recently, I, I watched Meatballs, uh, a movie I love. That's a movie that I, you know, I, I kind of enjoyed. I loved watching it and I wanted to talk about it afterwards. So I did make a video on it. These kind of things are are, are something that I, I struggle with every now and again. That, that burnout of just watching uh, movie after movie after movie. And having uh, the channel, it can make me focus a little bit too much. Often I'm watching movies and getting an enjoyment out of it, but with one kind of focus in my back of my head going, I'm going to have to talk about this at some point. So for me, the, the way to get through that brick wall, the, the way to get through that burnt out feeling is comfort watching. Watching movies that uh, I know inside out, movies I don't have to think about, movies that I'm not looking to pick up on thematics or anything. I want to see stuff blow up, which is why I went back and watched Con Air, Broken Arrow, Face Off, Armageddon, all those kind of movies, because you don't have to dig for themes in those movies. You don't have to watch characters uh, and see how they slowly start to change. You just need to watch stuff go boom and see how many layers of fireballs they can add on top of one another. I go back and I watch uh, comedy movies because again, they, they're subjective, they're, they're comfort. They might not be movies that I laugh out loud at, but they're movies that I just love to watch comfort movies. That's that's what gets me through um, the moments of, of toughness where I'm, I'm feeling run down, where everything is, is getting a little bit on top of me. When I start to watch 
what's going on with my time when I don't have as much time when things are, are becoming a little bit more um, dependent on my time as it is I, I need to be very careful and I think it's it's uh, something that we need to watch as, as human beings as well watching for the world getting on top of us it may not be movie burnout it may be other things that are causing us to um, I don't know have a little bit of pressure on our regular lives I struggle to cope with that kind of feeling. It's always something that I've had a little bit of an issue with, you know, de-stressing so much. I, for the most part of my life, I kind of ease it going. I just ease through most of the things. So when stress hits me, I try to roll with the punches, but ultimately it will all be a little bit harder. Um, uh, and whereas movies are my de-stressing material, it becomes even tougher when you're beginning a little bit burnt out with that. How do you cope with stress? How do you feel when you get to a point where you're like, I can't be bothered watching another movie? How do you shake up your viewing schedule? You know, I don't I don't think I could focus on anything too heavy. I don't want heavy dramatics. I don't want long run times. But that's just me. I'd love to know how you cope with these situations. How you deal with the burnout of movies. <laughs> first world problems are. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.